Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. A teardown video. Um, you guys had showed the best, most greatest support on the teardown series that we've made about a month or two, two, probably more than a month. About two, two and a half months ago. Uh, teardown did come out with an update and I'm kind of revisiting it after all this time. Um, and I believe it has to do with the mods or the challenges or maybe both. Challenges are experimental game modes where you can try out your skills, unlock new environmental environments, and challenges by playing the campaign. You play challenges with the same tools and upgrades you have unlocked in the campaign. Um, so one thing I was really uh, interested in was these mods. There's the asset pack, the basic castle. I'm not going to go into detail about what these are, um, but it looks like you can actually play these and you can see who they are by. Uh, Drive to Survive is actually by the developers, uh, Tuxedo Labs. Um, and I think one thing I saw that got me going <laughs> was the Drive to Survive. Um, some maniac has attached a bomb to you or possibly your car it's unclear and you need to complete the track in time to neutralize the bomb so in our uh, let's play series of teardown there was an episode where the driving like the racetrack at the mansion I, look i was terrible at it but i had so much fun actually driving so we're gonna just jump into it and see what happens this is completely unscripted and I have no idea. I've never seen any of this. So, we're, you know, we're going to learn this together. Drive to survive. There's a bomb in your car. Complete a lap on the road by the lockout golf club before the time runs out. This actually might be a new area that we haven't seen either. Um, there's time bonuses and nitro pickups. Pass through the gates in the correct order. You must drive. Uh, you must drive the start car through the end gate. So this is a great addition. Oh, my God. The Drab 75, a generally mediocre car with no features or specifications to talk about. Maybe that is it. Maybe that is. Maybe that it is prone to flip in tight corners. Uh, that's horrible. That's that, <laughs> that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> You're not going to be flipping on some corners on me. I, I don't. I don't appreciate that one bit. Oh, uh, but no. This is. Oh my God. Oh, there's a map. There's 20 seconds. All right, here we go. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, again. <laughs> this is oh what is that i think that was a time bonus oh there's nitrous oh god oh god oh there's some time oh that's lovely so we have to complete the entire map without eating ourselves into an existence off of the tiny hill we got a checkpoint 15 seconds uh i don't think it's really gonna matter because <laughs> now we're completely upside down now can we restart we can okay so this is good this is this is really cool I love that they uh, implemented game modes into Teardown. Teardown has a lot of potential. It really does. You can do a lot of things in it. And now with the addition of game modes and mods, oh baby, you're not even gonna, you, you won't even, you, you, you don't even know. I, I'm like losing concentration here. Let's get the nitrous here, 250. We got a nitrous boost down at the bottom left. I don't know if it's activated already or if we need to activate it. Oh yeah, there's a handbrake. We're gonna see here. How do we activate the nitrous? I'm not sure. Maybe shift? Oh wait, maybe the nitrous is already activated because I can see smoke coming out of our tailpipe there. So yeah, we might already have nitrous activated. That's fine. Oh, that is not fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot you could do first person. Oh, this makes life so much better. Oh, check this out. It doesn't look very good, like visually, but look at us go. Now I can drive. <laughs> now I can freaking drive. Oh my god. Let's get that extra five, please. Thank you. God, it's so much easier to drive now you can do in first person. There's a checkpoint for us. As you can see in the top left hand corner, um, we have the entire map. And we should be coming up on our end. Yeah, this should be the end here. Don't go off the side of the, of the railing there. The glass is tripping me the hell out. But I think we did it. I think we GG'd it. Nice done. You set the first record with Drab 75. Cool. Let's select another car. That's fun. Now, is it just one map? All right, so let's see. No, no, no. You don't understand. I, I did I did not want the Drab or the Darb or the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. 
Um, let's go back to the main menu. Let's pick Drive to Survive. It doesn't really show how to select a car. I mean, unless you got to use WSAD. Okay, yeah, you do. Okay, so we got all the different kinds of cars here. Oh my god, look at that. That's going to be fun to drive. I, I, already, I already have fun driving that, so that's great. So it looks like we have about five cars, which is, you know, that's cool. So a vintage rarity. Let's try to do all five cars in this episode and try to, you know, have fun with it. I mean, this is this is cool. It, it, it is little, you know, it's not it's not a big thing, but it's something and it's lovely. All right, let's see. Maybe more tracks in the future would be great. Okay, so the first person, I'll be real with you. First person on this car, not as good. But this bad boy drifts for being real wheel, real wheel drive and a muscle car. See if we get like a maybe a better view here. That's a better view. Oh, look at baby. Oh my god. The nitrous. You'll love to see it. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I don't know if we're going faster or if we're going slower than the other car we were using, but this feels pretty good. Okay, we're kind of coming up on a checkpoint here. We got about five seconds. There it is. I definitely feel slower. I will say that. Now, there is hidden, like, time bonuses and stuff like that in, like, other, like, locations. Because it definitely looks like you can go off-road, for sure. You don't have to follow the road like I am. Which is interesting. Like, I, I see a potential something over there. I don't know. I see something over there. There's a lot of other things going on on the track here. That's terrible <laughs> that's that was almost death i was using the shift key to do the handbrake but it's it's the space bar all right so that car is done the k use 550 let's go ahead and get to another basically we're gonna bump these all out here the task master four-wheel drive a true workhorse not very fast but it's rugged rugged a rug rugged Designed in high ground clearance means it essentially can get through just about anywhere. And as I was saying about the whole like off-roading thing and the other like roads, this might be the vehicle to do that. Will we do that? I have no idea. I Again, this is very difficult. That's terrible also. Oh, this car gets it. Oh, this truck is good. Let's get that extra five. You know what? We don't need the extra five. Let's get that. You know what? No, that's not how we're going to start this. I want the extra five. I want the nitrous. I want to see how this truck performs with nitrous. Give it to me. Thank you. I don't like how the camera starts out like in a weird, yeah, <laughs> weird angle. All right. Let's see. Maybe I'll, I'll try to go off-roading this time. All right. There we go. Let's grab that nitrous. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I wonder if you can get out of the vehicle. I'll have to try that too. Like, there's a dump truck. I see golf carts. I see other things going on here. Like, I could go up that staircase maybe? I'm not sure. All I know is this, this is a lot, like, slower. So naturally, we get that. And then we hit it. Oh, there's a time bonus in the gas station there. I didn't know there's a time bonus in there. That's risky, though. That's really risky. Will we get there in time? Holy crap. We need time bonuses. That's, you know, and we missed one. That's our fault. But I do see one coming up here. This is where we go off-road. Yep, this is where we, uh, this is where we go off-road. We gotta get to the checkpoint. Oh my god! Nice attempt, but no cigar. The first time with a new car can always be a bit difficult. You should give it another try. Okay, so this is a fantastic, fantastic spot to to, uh, to kind of just die at. Look. Over here. Can you see my mouse cursor? You can. Over here on the left, you got, like, golf carts. You got a hole. You got 10 time. You got nitrous. You got a 20 time up here. What's going on? Like, does this map correlate in in different like modes or something but let's go ahead and give this a retry i bet you know we can complete this um this course all vehicles normal on the track i don't think we need to get too spicy 
Um, I think it's you, you could do it just by staying on the road. Plain and simple. Five bonus here is important. Nitrous, I believe, is kind of important. And look, I just cut. Yeah, I make my own rules. Oh, that definitely. You love to see that. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Don't care. <laughs> Let's go through the gas station here. That's a 10 spot. You love to see it. <laughs> uh, I definitely will not be breaking any like world records at all, so don't even expect that. I'm just here to, to finish, baby. Okay, I'm feeling way more confident now, now that I know that there's no real limitations uh, to how I drive. How? How? How did I miss that? That's okay. So once we finish with the truck here, we're going to be going to some real powerhouse uh, cars. We got the drift car and we got the Lamborghini, I, I believe. Okay. This is a tricky turn. We don't need the five. We have 30 seconds to get around the corner. That was almost deadly. It's almost like driving on Highway 101. All right, here we go. Nice done. You set the first record with the Taskmaster four-wheel drive. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's go to the fast cars. Let's see uh, how spicy we can get with these bad boys. So that was the Taskmaster. Master. This is the Eurus 4 XX. Send it. <laughs> let's just fucking send it. All right. Ah, man. Okay. Lambo. Let's see the first person on the Lambo. Holy crap, do not do first person in the Lambo. Oh, baby. We don't need the nitrous. Are you out of your mind? Yep, 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 yep. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, dude, this thing calls anus. Oh, I love it, though. Let's hit that handbrake. You see that head? Oh, my God. This is good. Best car. Let's grab that 10 spot here, too. One way to do it. I'm going to hit the handbrake up here again. Actually, unneeded. Unnecessary. 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 Hit the five. Don't need it. Just keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is fun. This right here. This is really fun. If you guys have Teardown and you haven't played it in a while, I would, or you haven't played it since the update, I believe, in early February, I definitely get on, you know? And, uh, I would say get on, hop on, maybe spend some time, maybe an hour or two on these new uh, mods. Dude. This is this is what the game needs, and going forward, it's gonna it's gonna continue to be more re replayability here. But I do have to say I'm very impressed because I think in the community of the of the teardown community, people have been uh, talking about how the devs need to import mods and stuff and make it easier and and all that, and and they definitely have listened, and I I respect that 100%. We're in the rain. That scares the living crap out of me, especially in this car. Yeah, this 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 is tough. The camera can't even keep up with this car. <laughs> oh shit. That works. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. We are okay. This is like the Daytona 500 uh, on Valentine's. Remember that? Remember the ending to that race? Holy hell. Okay, we're a little bit damaged, so we're not going as fast, but I think we can still pull this off. Our control is even worse with our front left uh, tire here. Let's hit that five, please. Thank you. We needed that. Because we're going to need some backup time when it comes to coming around these corners. Okay. Great. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Can we actually get it? Get the, get the turn, get the turn down, get the turn down, oh, 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 baby, Woo! nice done, the Crown Z got XV7 Alpha, that's what the name of that car was, I didn't even notice that, <laughs> oh my god, um, 
but yeah, that that's basically the what, what what was this called? What was this the 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 race? Um, the drive to survive. I feel like there's a lot more that you could do there with drive to survive. Um, and there's probably a lot of things that I'm not, I'm not even like experiencing. Like there's cars, there's times, there's 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 other vehicles, there's dump trucks, there's golf course or golf carts. It's quite great. Now, there's more built-in mods here, as you can see, or you can even get your own local mod, um, probably from the community. I haven't even checked to see if there's a workshop with Teardown yet. I don't think there is, um, but right here they have the www. Um, you know, teardowngame.com slash modding. I have not clicked on this yet, um, but you know, I'm sure there's some great stuff. But that's gonna do it in today's episode. I kind of wanted to jump into some modding. I think I'm gonna make some more modding teardown videos here with these other, uh, like this example, Simple House, uh, Speeder Meter, Basic. I might actually do one whole video with all the mods, except for the Drive to Survive, since we've already done the Drive to Survive. Uh, but the reason why I came on is because I saw Drive to Survive. I don't know if it was on Twitter or if it was on on the um, on the patch notes, but I really wanted to jump into it and to see what it was all about and give you guys a uh, a genuine first time experience with Drive to Survive. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. And uh, well, I have an entire Let's Play series on Teardown if you haven't seen it or haven't uh, if you don't even know about it and you need help maybe trying to pass certain levels in Teardown. That series. It could help you out, all right? Till next time, I will see you. I will see you in the next one. Take care.